Buga, let me see you go lo lo lo. Go lo lo lo, Buga. Oh. Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in this tutorial, we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut and sew off shoulder top. Now, this form of off shoulder, you're going to have your elastic at the shoulder part and also on your sleeve area. And I'm going to make a detailed tutorial on all, on how to achieve your sleeve part also. So if you're interested in learning, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements six inches we have 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 inches our waist is 30 inches 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 inches our hip is 38 38 plus 2 Two divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 inches our top length is 18 inches now basically your top length is from your shoulder to your waistline and because what you want to achieve is off shoulder you're also going to go ahead and deduct how many inches off do you want for your off shoulder so you can take off four inches for your off shoulder you can take off five inches six inches it all depends on you and note that the number of inches you take off that will determine where your top is going to start from so let's go ahead now and you i'm going to make use of six inches for mine but you can reduce it if you don't want it to be too off or you can also increase it so i'll go ahead now and deduct my off shoulder from my top length so 18 minus 6 i have 12 inches now because it's going to have elastic i'm going to go ahead and add 4 inches to it because it's going to have elastic at the upper part and also elastic at the lower part so i'm going to add 4 inches 2 inches for the elastic allowance for the upper part and 2 inches for the elastic allowance at the lower part so i'll go ahead now and add four inches i have 16 inches my round sleeve is 12 inches so 12 divided by two i have six inches now because we're also going to have our elastic to the sleeve also you're also going to go ahead and add inches to your basic measurement so it also depends on how full you want your sleeve to be so for me now i'm going to go ahead and add about six inches to my sleeve so that i can have it to give me like a very full effect note that you can also increase yours or you can reduce it it all depends on how full you want your sleeve to be so i'll go ahead now and make use of six inches i'll add six inches to my round sleeve i have 12 inches plus one one inch for my sewing allowance I have 13 inches now my sleeve length is 12 inches don't forget that you took off six inches for your top length that determines you know the number of inches we are taking off for our top length now for your sleeve length also because your sleeve and your top is going to start at the same area so the number of inches you took off for your top you are also going to take off that inches also for your sleeve length your top and your sleeve are going to start at the same point the number of inches you took off for your top you're also going to do that also for your sleeve so i'm also going to go ahead now and deduct six inches from my sleeve length i'm going to have six inches now i'll also go ahead now and add four inches to it because it's going to have elastic at this upper part two inches elastic allowance for the upper part and two inches for elastic allowance at the lower part so plus four inches now we have 10 inches so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your off shoulder top now note that this form of top is going to have elastic at the upper part and also elastic at the lower part this simply means that you are not making use of your exact measurement to achieve this top you are going to add inches to your basic measurement so that you can have freeness around the top and also the inches you add to this top will serve as your elastic allowance of the top so 
go ahead now and determine how many inches do you want to add to your top length and that will determine how free your top is going to be so for me now i'm going to go ahead and add seven inches to it so my bust is 10.5 i will add seven inches i have 17.5 inches my waist is 10 inches plus seven inches i'm going to have 17 inches now i'm not going to add anything for my hip measurement because basically you don't need your hip measurement to achieve this form of dress because the dress is going to stop on your waistline so these are the basic measurements that for you to achieve your off shoulder top with elastic if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut out your off shoulder with elastic. So this off shoulder is going to have elastic at the upper part and also elastic at the lower part. Note that you can use one inch elastic or half inch elastic. It depends on what you want to achieve. So now your top length, you are going to add four inches to your top length. You are going to add four inches to your top length why are you adding four inches to your top length this is because i'm going to fold two inches at this lower part don't forget i said elastic is going to be at this lower part i'm going to fold two inches to this on this lower part after folding two inches on this lower part i will also fold two inches for my elastic because elastic is going to be on the upper part and also on the lower part this way so basically you know that is what is going to look like so that's the reason why we added four inches to this now because you're going to have elastic because you're going to have elastic you know the number of inches you take off will determine how many inches you want for your dress or for your top so you can take off six inches you can take off five inches you can take off four it all depends so i'm going to take off six inches now once i take off six inches okay let me go ahead and fold away my elastic allowance so that i don't add it you know so that i don't end up adding it to my armhole so i've gone ahead to fold the upper part of the elastic away now i'm going to have six inches for my off shoulder that's the amount of inches i'm taking off so i've done that now my arm o is nine and a half inches i'll mark my arm o you can see i don't know if you guys can differentiate this but like this is where my nine and a half inches is so if i am taking away four inches it means my nine and a half inches is going to be here and it depends on how many inches you are taking off so now after that the next thing you have is your what your bust and your waist so this is where our waistline should be our waistline is here while our bust is here right so our bust basically our bust is 10.5 we'll go ahead and add 10.5 inches so 10.5 our waist is 9.5 We've marked 9.5 inches but because what you want to achieve is elastic it means you are going to add allowance to this so our shoulder measurement now is seven inches this is where our shoulder measurement is seven inches so it's because you're adding elastic you need to have so many allowance like you need to have enough fabric to contain or to fit into your elastic allowance now the number of inches you add to your basic block depends on how full you want it to be and you know the fuller it is the more it's going to grab your elastic better so now you can just determine that you want to add nine inches ten inches five inches it all depends there is no like a particular um, amount of inches you should add to this so let us add eight inches right okay let me just add nine inches like i said you can add as many inches as possible nine inches to my shoulder now to my bust i will also add nine inches to my waist also i will also add nine inches right so this is what it looks like or basically you can just take your bust measurements down just take your bust line down 
so that you don't have any funny shape at this part because they're going to fix in your elastic so just take your bust measurement down now this is where our arm o is don't forget this is our arm o this is our shoulder measurement this is our bust measurements all the way down so connect your arm o now to your shoulder measurements basically with a slant you can see this is your arm o basically with a slant so for off shoulder this is what you should have so i'm gonna go ahead now and just cut this out it's actually very easy if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so once we are done this is what it looks like so by the time we're fixing our elastic here and we're also fixing our elastic here so this is what you're going to have by the time you're fixing your elastic here and you're also fixing your elastic here you're going to have your very nice dress and you can see that we've gotten our arm already so let's go ahead now and cut out the sleeve so guys what you want to cut out now is your sleeve right so this is our off shoulder sleeve now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into four fold your fabric into four and this is basically what it looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and take our basic measurement so now where you want to measure your sleeve length don't forget that for the top we took off six inches so place your six inches this way and mark your sleeve length so if your sleeve length is 22 inches you place your six inches off this way and you mark your sleeve length now for your sleeve also go ahead and add four inches to your sleeve now the reason why we added four inches to the sleeve is because you are going to have elastic also at this lower part of your sleeve and you are also going to have elastic at this upper part of your sleeve so basically you place your inches off that if you took off six inches but if you took off four inches place your four inches out and mark your sleeve length and don't forget to add your four inches so the six inches i took off now i'm going to go ahead now and mark the six inches here the number of inches you took off go ahead and mark it on this place on this edge of your sleeve now place your inches off and mark your arm o so i took off six inches i will go ahead and mark my arm o took off six inches so this is where my arm o falls now my round sleeve is 12 12 divided by two we have six plus eight inches plus two inches for my strain allowance we have eight inches so basically this is where my sleeve, round sleeve should be and this is what it should look like but because we are going to add elastic to this sleeve you're also going to add your elastic allowance so the number of inches you add to this your for your elastic allowance totally depends on you you can add five six seven it all depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so i'll go ahead and just add nine inches okay let me just mark eight inches i feel like when i mark on this green part of the fabric you guys can see it better so let me check out what i have eight inches so i have eight inches on my round sleeve now i'm going to add that eight inches also so let me just mark it on this green part so go ahead now and connect it now when you connect it to this point you now go ahead and get mark your arm o don't forget that our arm o is also a slant shape so let me go ahead now and cut this out you can see this slant shape so this part which is your arm o is going to sit on the arm o of your dress that's what it's going to look like so let me go ahead now and cut so guys after cutting it out this is what it looks like so you can see the arm o which is going to sit on the blouse also and this is basically what it looks like so let's go ahead now and couple this up so guys now for the top i've gone ahead to fixing my elastic so you can see we have elastic at the upper part and also elastic at the lower part and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like for the two pieces so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and put this up so just place the two pieces on each other make sure that the arm o part right this is where you have your arm o and this is where you have your arm o so let's set this aside now 
this is also what we have for the sleeve so for the sleeve i've also gone ahead to fix in my elastic at the upper part and also fix in my elastic at the lower part and for the second sleeve also we've also gone ahead to fix in our elastic on both sides now the next thing you have to do now is to basically take your top this is where you have your arm o take one of your sleeve where you also have the arm o and then stitch this part attach the arm o to each other so you basically attach the arm o to each other so once you attach the arm o to each other you can see what it looks like just attach the arm o now for this other part also you also take your sleeve where you have your arm o on the sleeve and you also attach it to where you have your arm o on the blouse now you go ahead and also attach it this way you can see what it looks like so you can have a view of what the top is going to look like once you attach the arm o together so once i'm done i'll just show you guys what it looks like so guys now you've gone ahead to attach you know where you have your arm o for the sleeve to the arm o of the blouse and also done this so let's go ahead now and flip it to the front and show you guys what it looks like very easy and one thing i love about this blouse is the fact that you know actually if you are dealing with ready to wear african prints and you can basically use any fabric of your choice to achieve this so it fits like across so many sizes so this can size from size 6 to size 8 because it has elastic and if you're interested in having our size charts please i'm going to go ahead and put down the details in the description box so that you can order for your size chart so basically this is what it looks like you can see how cute it is very simple to achieve and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one so basically i'm going to be rocking this blouse on a pleated skirt with slits if you're interested in learning how to achieve that please go ahead and watch the video i'm going to attach to the link here please go ahead and watch it so that you can rock this with a maxi skirt with slits